I have a $155,000 dividend portfolio consisting of some really high quality companies and I make a whole $3,000 in dividends and it's growing every single year. But what if I had a change of heart? What if I wanted to dump my entire portfolio into yield max ETFs? Suddenly that less than 2% yield my portfolio generates will balloon to a 70% return in one year. Currently, the most popular yield max ETF is T-Sly or Tesla. It has ballooned to $538 million in assets under management, and it synthetically mimics the price movements of Tesla. And it's going to stick with Tesla during the good times, the bad times, and the sideways times. There's no built-in protections with T-Sly. Now, Tesla currently trades for $14.56 at the time of this recording. That means a $155,000 portfolio could buy 10,645 shares of this money printing ETF. Seeking Alpha currently says that T-Sly has a 46% dividend yield, but that's because it's taking its 12-month trailing dividend total by the total share price. The only problem is that Tesla hasn't even been around a full year yet, and they pay dividends every single month, so that's actually going to be quite misleading. Let's make our own 12-month yield by taking all of T-Sly's dividends paid out so far to get the monthly average. So if we take the total of $6.67 divided by the 8 months they've been paying dividends so far, that comes out to a monthly average of $0.83. Cents. Annualize that and we get a flat $10, and if you take that by today's share price of $14.56, we get a mind-boggling dividend yield of 68.68%. Now if we round that up to a whole number, we get a a really nice number. Alright, if we take that monthly average of 83 cents by the 10,644 shares I now own, that means I'm making a whole $8,878 a month for doing absolutely no work. I'm letting the good old professionals at YieldMax actively manage the fund. Nearly $9,000 a month is a lot of money, I don't care who you are. This is enough money to buy that luxury car, a nice watch, designer clothes, but you being the smart investor you are, you're just going to reinvest it into more shares of T-Sly. I mean, after all, if we're making $8,900 a month times 12 months, we get a salary of $106,000, a six-figure income from a $155,000 investment. Guys, can we really retire early off of yield max ETFs? Is this way too good to be true? While there's various get-rich schemes out there and investment opportunities that promise fast money, it's important to approach them with caution as many can be risky or even fraudulent. Now, I don't think that yield max is a fraud. I definitely think there's a lot of risk, though, that people are not taking into account because they're lured in by the allure of this high yield. I may be able to retire, but I need to take into account that Tesla's share price can always go down. Current analyst consensus price targets have the stock at nearly 10% overvalued. So you really have to be bullish on the underlying equity of yield max ETFs in order to get comfortable with these investments. And even then, because of the 5-15% to covered calls they're doing, a lot of that upside is capped in case the underlying equity does really good in a short period of time. Secondly, yield max ETFs have some pretty high expense ratios. This is to be expected though of actively managed ETFs. Right now, they're at a 99 basis points expense ratio that's $99 for every $10,000 in my $155,000 portfolio. For example, every year I'd be paying $1,535 in fees to YieldMax. Now, sometimes you have to spend money to make money, and I totally get that, since these fund managers deserve compensation for their services. But remember, this is money you have to pay regardless if the fund does well or not. Whether it's a green market or a red market, you have to pay that fee. Just because YieldMax did great in 2023, it doesn't necessarily mean it will in 2024. Another thing to consider is that Tesla definitely does pay some juicy dividends because the underlying equity in Tesla is a very volatile company. The price fluctuations are all over the place, thus higher volatility is going to give higher premiums. But there might be a day when Tesla is no longer as volatile as it is today, and the volatility might go down, and so too will those premiums, and so too will those monthly 
dividends. Plus, if Tesla stock price goes down, so too will the amount of premiums that they're able to fetch. Interest rates can also indirectly influence options premiums as higher interest rates can lead to higher options premiums because of the opportunity cost of tying up capital. And the Fed will most likely cut interest rates again next year, so I expect those dividends to come on down. The amount of distributions each month is also always going to be inconsistent, even though most people's living expenses are for the most part pretty consistent. It would be pretty tough in retirement to not have much foresight on what your next paycheck amount might be. Can you imagine the anxiety of not knowing how much my next paycheck will be, but I know I'm going to have a fixed expense every month? Dividends from yield max will be dependent on the price of the underlying equity, distance of the out of moneyness, time to expiration, and the big one, implied volatility. Also, would I really trust having all my money into a fund that's less than a year old? It hasn't even been through all the market conditions of a recession, a full-on bull market. I don't know, guys. I like to be tucked into bed, dreaming of girls, I mean dreaming of dividends, and I don't want to be babysitting and up all night worrying about my investments. But so far, Yieldmax has delivered. This is how they keep bringing in new investors. One of their fund managers has went on several channels here on the YouTube community, and he's done a really good job talking about the pros and cons of these ETFs, and he does a really good job explaining himself. This is pretty nice since I don't think most investors are actually reading their prospectus. Someone left a great comment on one of my other Yieldmax videos saying even though the Yieldmax ETFs haven't been around for that long, this is actually a strategy that wealthy people have been doing for quite some time. It's just before it was only available to the rich, now it's available to the masses and I thought that was a really great point. I'm always getting great comments from the community in the comments below, so be sure to let me know your thoughts on Yieldmax in the comments below, and I might just read them next time. Be sure to check out my other Yieldmax ETF videos right here. So guys, join the Dividend Discord. We have some great conversations in there with like-minded investors, and that's really going to help you on this dividend journey. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Clad Cash podcast name. Appreciate all the Patreon supporters who see all my trades every single week and my full $155,000 portfolio that's not yet into yield max funds. And I will catch you on the next one.